Hey, what's up everybody? It's Kalen Moss, AKA The Minute Admin here. And in this video, I'll be talking about the changes that Salesforce made to the email specialist certification. So basically what happened was over the weekend or last, late last week, basically, uh, Salesforce made a change to the Salesforce Certified Marketing Cloud email specialist certification. Now, the exam outline, if you go to trailhead.salesforce.com, is updated so there used to be uh, six sections on the exam now there's uh, just five here so uh, if you click into each one of these little sections here you'll see uh, that some stuff inside of the sections has uh, basically uh, not necessarily changed but the wording has changed so we're going to go ahead and uh, talk about those changes talk about the simplistic version of these changes and uh, basically show you what changed as well as uh, the simple way to kind of study for this exam. So what I did was I created this uh, exam outline breakdown because a lot of things uh, on the exam outlines, like when you look at these bullet points here, are kind of difficult for the for somebody, anybody, I don't care if you're beginner, intermediate, or advanced, it's kind of difficult for you to understand what in the world Salesforce is asking you to actually be good at when you take the exam. So what I did was I just broke each bullet point down. And um, you can see here, for email marketing best practices, 10% of the exam, if you look back right here, email marketing best practices, I've taken the three bullet points and I have broken them down into these little sub bullet points that make sense. So for example, given a customer scenario, evaluate elements and techniques of email marketing to design effective emails and email programs. Basically what I said was, what are the rules, what are the laws to email marketing that I need to know before I begin sending email messages? You can quickly find a, uh, your answer to that on Trailhead or on help documents. Um, if you know what the question is basically asking you. So uh, as another thing I'm going to actually add in here is I'm going to actually add in the answers um, to this question here uh, as time goes on. But I wanted to get this out to everybody and I can make another video when those answers come out and whenever I add that uh, into here. But basically wanted to break this down really simple for you uh, right here so that you can see exactly what the question is trying to or what the bullet point is trying to get you to know. So I've done that for subscriber and data management. I've done that for content creation and delivery, broken down the question into something super simple. If you want, you can pause the video, just take a screenshot or do whatever you want here to get what you see on the screen here. Marketing automation, insights and analytics. Now we're going to talk about what changed. So uh, when I first noticed the update and when I heard about the update, it was May 11th, 2022. Um, and Salesforce changed the email specialist exam requirements. There's five instead of six sections now. Everything else pretty much stayed the same. And in this chart below that we're going to look at here, we're going to see what was on the old version of the test and on the new version and what's on the new version of the test. On the old version of the exam, we had two different sections here for basically email marketing best practices. So we had an email marketing best practices, which was 15% of the exam, and email message design, which was 13% of the exam. Now on the new version of the exam, we just have one section here for email marketing best practices. So as you can see, some of the stuff has been pulled over. Um, so if you look at this bullet point here, Given a customer scenario, evaluate the elements and techniques of email marketing to design an effective email campaign. But if you look over on the new part of the exam, given a customer scenario, evaluate elements and techniques of email marketing to design effective emails and email programs. Just a little bit different wording. Don't know why they changed email campaign to email program. That's just what it is. So uh, basically, you can see that there's really not much that has changed except for the fact that things have been condensed down from these two sections over to uh, this email marketing best practices section. If you look, if we scroll down even more, we see content creation and delivery was 18% of the exam. It still is 18% of the exam. Now you can pause the video and see what the differences are between the bullets here for this section of the exam. For marketing automation, 
we see that it actually grew a bit. So marketing automation was 19% of the exam originally. Now it's 26% of the exam. So we have basically um, this bullet point here, recommend the appropriate marketing automation solution is still the same thing over on this one, except now we've added in, given a customer scenario, build the right automation and build the right journey and journey builder. I'm sure we're gonna see more questions if you do 26% of 60, which is the amount of questions you're gonna get on the exam, you're gonna see um, that there's gonna be just more questions around this. Uh, and that's because more companies are looking for people who are, who understand the automation piece of marketing cloud rather than you know the other areas. Uh, so that just shows the importance of understanding how Automation Studio and Journey Builder works. And then we have subscriber and data management. This was 28% of the exam. Now it's 26%. So little two percentage points down. So 2% of uh, 60 questions um, basically dropped from 28 to 26, that 2%. Uh, but you can see here, if you pause the video, what's different between the old version of the exam and the new version. And then if you scroll down a little bit more here, uh, we had back in the day, tracking and reporting, 7% of the exam. And now we have a section called insights and analytics, which is 14% of the exam. So the biggest thing that I noticed that changed here for this section of the exam was uh, recommend an Einstein product that will analyze campaign effectiveness. What I want to just point out here is that Salesforce, once again, is getting towards uh, those products that are going to be more automative in nature. So those products like Automation Studio, Journey Builder, Einstein Analytics, things that are going to increase uh, your output while staying streamlined and uh, being automated. Salesforce is focusing on that. They want to make sure people understand that and they wanna make sure that you can do that when you go on client site, which is why it's important to have a certification, especially if you're looking for a job uh, in the Salesforce ecosystem. So I uh, wanted to come here, say that, uh, this is the update for um, the new Marketing Cloud Email Specialist certification. As you can see here, lots of value here in the fact that I've broken down the questions uh, or broken down the bullet points and also just kind of shown you what has changed here. Uh, if you click on this link right here, you can be taken straight to the exam outline. It takes you directly to what we were looking at originally. I would recommend that you also go through and see what changed in terms of uh, the about the exam. So it's going to require you to get a, you to get a 67% on the exam. And it's also going to uh, be actually a little bit shorter of an exam uh, compared to the last certification. So the last version of this exam. Uh, so I think it was like 105 minutes you got on the last one. Now it's 90 minutes. So that's an hour and 30 minutes. So I think the last one was an hour and 45 minutes. This one's 15 minutes shorter. So those are the updates to the Marketing Cloud Email Specialist certification. Those just came out. Wanted to make sure... I made a video for everybody who is studying for this or um, wanted to just understand what those updates are all about. So with that being said, I am going to just kind of talk about where you can find this email specialist exam outline breakdown. So in this video description, you'll find a link to the Marketing Cloud uh, Minute Admin Marketing Cloud Career Development Program. Uh, it is a program that's designed to get you the email specialist certification and marketing cloud admin certification, as well as designed to help you uh, get started on your first, second, third, fourth, or fifth real world marketing cloud project. So it is uh, the link to that, <clears throat> the link to the program is down below uh, and you can check that out. But basically that's where you're going to find this document. Once again, you can go through, pause the video, you can copy everything, screenshot if you want. I don't really care, it's on YouTube. But if you wanna be able to actually access this, download this, um, that's going to be in the career development program, the Marketing Cloud uh, Career Development Program by Minute Admin. So with that being said, uh, I am going to stop the video because that's all I've got for you in this. If you have questions, leave comments below. Other than that, Minute Admin, out.